Hello everybody, so another update from the garden and we've got some good and some bad to show you. So if we start off with, um, I'll take it in order actually, let's go start off with the mint plant. I'll bring you in so you can have a look. So this, if you remember, was in a really poor state. So it's actually doing pretty well now. I uh, won't dwell on that one, but some updates come on there. Uh, this is the chilli plant in Lekka, you see there. And main good news about this is we've got a nice little chilli growing us. I think this is a demon red, but I will check up on that. Uh, we've got loads of flowers as well. Um, and some flowers at the bottom where it's brushing out. So this is great. Uh, the other thing to point out about this plant is I filled up the nutrient solution this morning and already it's bone dry so really it could do with a little bit of a bigger nutrient pot but then again it has been a very hot day today uh, in comparison the crack key method uh, about half full so i can fill that up again should have done a bigger pot really for that um but it was uh i wanted to get experiment started and that was the, the jar that i had available uh, has I think just about you can see the fruit just about forming there again lots of flowers but as pointed out in the previous videos it is a bit behind the lecker the lecker is certainly winning this race in terms of growth and amount of flowers and fruit and all sorts so unless uh, the crack key system can either have a bit of a boost later on or the fruit taste particularly better um, my advice would be to go for the crack key system and ideally you'd want a water reservoir to make sure that it's not running out all the time and a bit of bad news you may have seen in the very early video I planted a lettuce in crack key this one nutrient solution hasn't gone dry still got plenty of nutrients there but something's been nibbling at it, so it's not looking as good as what it should do. Going back to the nutrient solution on the chilli plant in Lekka, as I said, it's bone dry, or tiny little dribble of nutrient solution there. Um, your main issue that you'll get with Lekka is if you can, I don't know if it'll pick up on the camera there, but you can see bits of white salt on the clay balls, on, the, on those Lekka balls. And the problem you'll get with that is that your that salt is the dry nutrient solution. If you put 100% nutrient solution back into there, you'll wash that salt down into nutrient solution. And what you thought may have been uh, an EC of um, 2000 microsiemens will be a lot higher because of all that salt, and that will damage your plant. So. Um, two ways around it first way is flush with fresh water and then top up nutrients flush with basically when you flush flush it to waste and then put it back into the nutrient bowl and fill up with your nutrient solution or the other way around it is to work out roughly the strength of nutrient that you'll need um either you can do that with a bit of maths or you could go with about half strength test the ec the next day see whether you need a, a little bit more nutrient solution or a bit more water to dilute it down. Okay, hopefully that's a, you enjoyed this update and I hope to see everyone again soon. Thank you very much for watching.